Brythyn has been named this year as the best place to live in Wales. But why? Could it be the amazing architecture, the gruesome jail, which incidentally Will was very naughty in? Or is it the many, many pubs? If you don't know us, I'm Rachel and he's Wills and we are Postcard and a Pint. Now let's get stuck in and find out why. We've parked in the long stay car park. We'll pop the what three words up here. Pretty reasonable it. We've paid £1.50 for three hours. Now let's go and explore Brythyn. Brythyn is a market town in Denbyshire in North Wales. And as we said, in 2023, it's been voted the best place to live in Wales. But what's that? A jail? Surely the best place to live in Wales doesn't need a jail? Ah, it's an old Victorian prison and now a museum. Let's take a look. What does that do then? <laughs> Clever, eh? You point your beeper at the button and you can then hear the history. Or you can read it on the wall instead. Where are you now then, Rach? This is the dark cell and they put prisoners in here for weeks, even months at a time with no daylight at all. Ah! Wills is in a cheeky mood today. It's the crank for you, my son. 13,997, 13,998, 13,999, 14,000! You've got 480 to go. You can tell he's not paying attention. We're both a bit distracted by the dress-up clothes and props, to be honest. Look at Rach entering the padded cell and learning. What did you learn, Wills? Give me strength. Where are we now, Rach? Bath in this room is a really old one, and male prisoners used to bath in it. They were allowed one bath a week. Ooh. No idea who that is. It obviously didn't end well. Who have we found now? This is Jane Roberts. She was banged up three times, each time for stealing clothes. Can't be lover. A Victorian only a maniac. Will you leave the props alone? The building that stands here today was started in 1775. By 1802, there were four cells for prisoners and nine for debtors. You can only imagine what life would have been like here back then. This is Edward Jackson. He was always in trouble. His crimes included stealing potatoes, stealing teapots, fighting and stealing a coat. His mugshot was taken both as a boy and a man at this jail. This certainly is an eerie place. This is William Hughes, the first and last person to be hung in this prison. And the gallows were erected just the other side of the picture of the noose on the outside of the prison, so the prisoner didn't have far to go. William Hughes shot his estranged wife at close range, killing her instantly. He was hanged here on February the 13th, 1903. Well, we've not heard of Wills for a while. Anything you can add to this tour and experience? You can tell this is a women's room, can't you? Why is that? Well, there's washing up stuff, and that's what women do, innit? Ooh! You are skating on thin ice today, sunshine. Oh, look, there's a sewing machine in this room. So is this another woman's room, is it, Wills? Yeah, obvs. You're now on two strikes. Another one, and you're out. Let's see what the king of comedy's got to say now. Oh, look, a kitchen, another women's room. Around this time, he got a clip round the ear and a telling off. I think all the props and dressing up clothes had overstimulated him. We finished our tour outside, but then... This is the old exercise yard now. We were going to go around there, but I don't know if you can see, but there's a massive swarm of, of wasps or bees or hornets or something making a hell of a noise. So we're not going to go that way. If you're ever in Rithin, do check the jail out. It's only £7 for adults and £6 for kids, and is both interesting and interactive. Let's carry on exploring Rithin to see if it deserves its best place to live in Wales accolade. Ooh, what's this? Now, I'm an F1 fan, and I had no idea Wales had a Grand Prix driver back in the day. Thomas Price, and this is his story. Thomas Maldwin Price was born on June the 11th, 1949 in Rithin. Right from an early age, the young Thomas knew he wanted to be a racing driver. After working his way up through the ranks, he finally graduated to Formula One in 1974. Although driving for the smaller teams, he was considered a future world champion. Sadly, in 1977, he hit a marshal on track at the South African Grand Prix. Both were killed instantly. What a beautiful memorial. Rithin is steeped in history. It even claims to have ties with King Arthur. This stone is where he beheaded Whale, the brother of Gilda, the historian. Rithin has so many incredible buildings. 
This is the old courthouse. It was completed in 1421 and served as the courthouse and jail until 1663. The remains of the gallows, last used to execute a Catholic priest in 1679, are on the back of the building. Now it's feeling like lunchtime to me, and where better than Teacup's Tea Rooms? There was a lovely menu of freshly prepared food. It was jacket potatoes all round. And fizzy pop in glasses like your nan used to have. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Now it's time to explore more of historical Rhythm. Here is a very cool fact about the Welsh National Anthem. The very first copies of the Welsh National Anthem by Henflad and Haddai were printed for the very first time. Here, it's now Shop 9. Another interesting fact we read was that in the 18th century, Rhythin was on the drover's route from Wales to England, and at one time it was reputed to have a pub for every week of the year. 52 pubs? This is the best place to live! But by 2007, only 11 remained. Boo! Nice dragon, but somewhere around here there's a lovely church. Found it! This magnificent church of St Peter has had such a turbulent history. It was built in the year 1310, but suffered so much damage in the uprising of Owen Glyndor. We loved the wooden ceiling. It's so intricate. The church was much altered in the Victorian era. This is when the church got its trademark spire, the only spire in the Vale of Cluid. We really enjoyed visiting the beautiful interior of this church. There is really intricate woodwork, stained glass windows, ornate carvings and a real sense of calmness and serenity. Now this building holds so many memories for me. Now, even though I haven't been to Rithin for years, I did have really strong ties with Rithin as a teenager. My mum bought a dance school here to add to her own dance school near where we live. And I used to come here all the time. And this building behind me is where she had her dance school, which is the old boys' school, which is very, very old. And it's where I had my only ghostly experiences. Ah, those were the days. So my first one, in the dressing room waiting area, there was a big tall cupboard which she had some costumes in and hats on the top. And one day I stood on a stool because I wanted to get something off the top shelf. As I opened the doors of the cupboard, this breeze and wind and all the clothes flapped out at me. And there's no window nearby. Hmm, quite spooky, but there's more. But the spookiest experience I ever had was when my mum got the dance school, she also inherited a pianist, an old lady, I can't remember her name, and she'd play for the dance classes, the ballet classes. Now, sadly she died, and a week after she died, me and my mum came over to get some costumes or something. We opened the bottom door by those steps we showed you, and we heard the piano playing in the studio. We are like, oh my goodness, who's in here? So we walked up the stairs, it was still playing, still playing, still playing. We opened the studio door, it stopped abruptly. And we both heard it and we were both like, oh gosh, that's really strange because it's a tune that she always used to play. And that sent shivers down my spine. Moving on, Rhythin is also a market town and has this impressive market hall. The market runs on a Thursday, Friday and Saturday throughout the year. It was Sunday though, so it was shut. The town hall sits right beside the market. There are other pretty churches in Rhythin and this lovely memorial cross. With all this historic architecture, quaint houses and pretty churches, Rhythin does seem to be a lovely place to live. We headed down the hill to the craft centre. The original craft centre opened in the 1980s. Back then it was full of studios of people making things like candles, ceramics and glass blowing. It was my nan's favourite place. The original buildings were demolished and today's craft centre opened in 2008. Today it's more exhibitions and a gallery space. Ooh, them's long ears! There are green plaques everywhere in Rhythin. Such is the history of the place. Wills can never resist a mooch round an antique shop. There you go, another old house that was once a pub. And Edward Pugh the artist lived near this house. Yes, plaques everywhere. It was lovely to see that the police station is still housed in the old building. Then the library is next door, very grand. 
And if you don't pay your library fines, the police are right on tap. And then I bumped into... Oh, beautiful. And do you live up there? Do you? Do you? A furry friend. We had a good cuddle. She wasn't camera shy at all. We loved that this street was called Record Street. We presume from the county hall holding all the records. Where are we now, Wills? Behind me is Nantclewid Adre, and this is a 15th century house, an old hall house, which has also been a judge's resident and an old school. Now it's closed today, being a Sunday, but I was here a few months ago through work, so I think we've got a few video clips, so we'll show you some of it now. Nantclewid Adre is Wales's oldest dated timber townhouse. Carbon dating of the timbers show that the main structure of the house was started in about 1435. As Will said, it's been many things in its life. Today, it's a museum. Each room depicts a different year in time, showcasing the changing fashions and lives of the house's residents. This house has seen so much life over its almost 600 years of being. If only walls could talk. On to our last stop in Rhythin, the castle. If you look through this hole, you are supposed to see the Grey Lady who haunts Rhythin Castle and its grounds. All I saw was a smudge. Wills went in for a second go though. So, Rithing Castle. The original castle that lay beyond these gates was founded in 1277 by Edward I. It was attacked by Owen Glyndor in the 1400s and the castle you see today was founded in 1826. But today it's a very posh hotel and spa. Far too posh for us. But we can wander in the grounds. That's free. The castle does have some beautifully landscaped gardens. There were signs pointing to Lady Grey's grave and dungeons, but they weren't accessible, which was a shame. Spring is well and truly in the air now, and there are little nooks and crannies all over this garden. And peacocks. That's some impressive plumage, my son. For quite cumbersome birds that don't fly very well, they don't half get everywhere. We were due a pit stop by this time, so headed inside to see if there was anything we could afford. Turns out we could afford a shandy and a coke. And we sat outside to enjoy them. We've stopped for a quick shandy and diet coke. There's peacocks behind us. That bloke is feeding them, feeding them sandwiches and cake out of his hands. It's bonkers. It certainly is. Yes, it turns out that peacocks are actually seagulls, just with a better costume. We love this little fella. After getting rebuffed, he did his best cute face to try and get food. Oh, I'm cute. Food? I mean, look how cute I'm leaning. Cute! That's worth a cheese sandwich, surely? Sadly, it wasn't. Right, suitably refreshed, we tackled the grounds. And found this pet cemetery, where all of the posh pets who've lived in this posh house over time now lie. It's amazing to think that Taffy lived here in 1893. These are the Gorseth Stones, a modern stone circle. It was created in 1972 to proclaim that the National Eisteddfod would be held in Rhythin the following year. It's made up of 12 stones, the tallest stone being one and a half metres tall. Then we tried to shortcut across the field back to the car. You know us and shortcuts. It did take some nifty manoeuvring through barbed wire. Next to where we left the car, there is Rhythin Park. It's a lovely area with a kids' playground, biking and skateboarding ramps, and a lovely lake where you can see ducks, swans, and of course, gulls. 
our time in Rithin was coming to an end, but we had one more thing we wanted to check out before we returned home. So it was back to the car and a short drive out of town. Now, we're looking for the Derwin Churchyard Cross. That's not it. A Google search had given us this postcode. Are you sure you're in the right place? Well, it's a very pretty church and it's a very pretty churchyard, but it is not the home of the Derwin Churchyard Cross. We've got it completely wrong. Back to the car. We've got a postcode. We think this is it. Let's go see anyway. Postcard and a pint lost once again, but now in a place called Derwin. I think we're getting warmer. Okay, Derwen Churchyard Cross, take two. I would say this is a 15 minute drive out of Rithin. We followed a postcode, it's brought us to a place called Derwen. Go figure, probably gonna find it here. So you don't get as lost as we do, we'll give you the what three words. Echo, kidney, clap. Now let's go find us at Churchyard Cross. This sleepy little village is so remote, but houses one of the oldest and best preserved preaching crosses in Wales. The cross stands are almost 15 feet high and depicts a different scene on each of its four faces. The coronation of the Virgin. St Michael with a sword and scales for weighing souls. The Virgin and the Child. And the Crucifixion. This cross dates from the late 15th or early 16th century. You can only imagine services taking place with this cross at the heart. It was also where important announcements were made to the community so very long ago. I'm so glad we finally found it. Now a quick drive home for a sum up and then we've got a special cheers to do today with some celebrity guests. Stay tuned. Well, we're back and what a fun day that was. What we did is we went onto TripAdvisor and asked, what should you do when you go to Riffin? And we did all of it. Yeah, there's a list came up and we managed to fit it all in. Pretty what much everything, didn't we? absolutely beautiful place. Yeah. I love the jail. The jail's been closed for a couple of years because it suffered some flooding damage, but it's back open now. Not badly priced either, really reasonable. Give it a go, it was great. We I were, love the downstairs yeah, bit that was, We liked all the dressing up and the costumes and the- You the, did. The props, hello. You were playing with them as much as me. And, Wales, Rithin has an F1 driver. You had an F1 had, yeah. driver. How did I not know that? A very I loved, sad ending though, yeah, wasn't it? I love my F1. Apparently he'd gone on to become a great champion. Or so they say. So they say, because he was only racing for the smaller teams. Mm -hmm. But brilliant. And um, isn't Rithin a gorgeous place? I, I just like the fact there's so much history there. I mean, yeah. So many of the buildings are 12th century, 13th century. They're, yeah. they're just incredible, aren't they? Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Well worth a visit. Absolutely. And I just like to say, take this opportunity to thank Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, he did, he gave us a PayPal donation uh, really towards nice our channel. One. So cheers, Jonathan. This one's for you. Thank you very, very much indeed. Absolutely. Much appreciated. Now, we met some celebrities last year, didn't we? We did indeed. We th This time last year, well, summer last year, yeah, yeah. we met up with Watto and Kim of Wondering With Watto and Kim's Picks 59. Check the channels out. And They're they were brilliant. doing a rhythm video. And check out their rhythm you know, video because it's brilliant. Link it. We'll, we'll, link we'll link what's go, at yeah, the end, so check it out. their written video as yeah. well. And yes, and we um, met up for a little cheeky drink. Yeah. Um, just outside Rithin, so we're going to cut back now. We've been meaning to do a written video since yeah. then. It's just the first time we've, we've actually got around to so it. So just before we cut back, we'll say like, subscribe, if you, comment. Hit, oh, excuse me. <laughs> hit the button. Yeah. If you would, hit the bell. Please watch our other videos. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah. And now let's take it back to last year in Rithin. Look who we bumped into. It's Watto and Kim from Wandering with Watto. And as we say, we've got the bank. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Good Cheers. Time. You do, I'm saying I can do that. What's it called when a prisoner takes their own mugshot? I don't know. A selfie! Oh. 